you know, this kind of demonstrates why we need to fix our attic. <laughs> Be careful. I'm getting sweaty already. <laughs> I know. Hey guys, we're Evan and Caitlin. We are once again in our attic in the summer in Texas. Yeah. So the last episode we were up here, you guys had a lot of thoughts about our attic. Like way more than I expected the internet to have. The thing is, we also have those thoughts. Our attic is is kind of a hot mess. It's, it's so hot. It's mostly well, <laughs> equal parts hot and mess, yeah. actually. Oh, but we have an issue. We have too much stuff and not enough room to store it in our house. So we're going to be converting this attic into some usable storage space. Should we start with an attic tour? <laughs> okay, so here's the foyer of our attic. Foyer, also foyer. Foyer, foyer? You mean foyer. this light? Yeah, that light right there, <laughs> that space where you should be able to stand. Yeah, um, this if was, you, this <laughs> Nope, if you uh, turn to your right, we have the living room. Oh, very nice. Of the attic, that's where we're gonna actually focus most of our efforts on, in addition to the foyer, because you have to make an impression when someone enters your attic. Over here, this is the uh, breakfast nook. Cozy. Oh yeah, I see that there's uh, some, uh, that, is that the sink right there? Yeah, that's the sink. <laughs> yeah, um, we had to do some like impromptu repairs down there at some point. We just cut through stuff. It's pretty horrible. We, that's before we got our like DIY chops on. Yeah. Um, you know, there's also, uh, this is the bedroom. Oh. We keep it dark. We'll, we'll leave it undiscovered, like unexplored for now. Yeah, and uh, the whole thing uh, doubles as a sauna. Oh yeah. Great, I feel so... Or hot yoga, what's that called? Uh, yeah, hot yoga. <laughs> I'm really nervous, because this board isn't secure. So I think that the general plan though is to take care of this and then allow us to like walk upstairs confidently into our attic and then move over here for all the storage. So I think the very first thing we need to do Let's go to Lowe's for some... <laughs> go to Lowe's for some supplies. Thank you, Lowe's, for making these videos possible. Thank you. Okay, so I so, guess we should explain like what we're actually doing in order to achieve our goals. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff in your attic, as I'm sure you guys saw. There's insulation, there's wires, there's plumbing. There's all sorts of stuff that we don't want to deal with when we're installing the floor. So we're going to build a new floor on top of that floor with these two by fours right here. Are you filming? <laughs> so what most people will use for their flooring is plywood, which makes a lot of sense. We're gonna use it in our foyer area of the attic where that light is, because we have some posts and stuff we have to work around. But for the big living room section of our attic, we're actually gonna do something really cool that should be a lot easier. You'll find out soon. We don't have it yet. We're waiting on delivery. <laughs> One little piece. <laughs> You're a little piece. <laughs> These are going to make things a lot easier. Adding yeah. the two by fours. That's oh, what yeah. they're going to make easier. Yeah, that, that thing. So they'll just whoop, hold it just like that. Uh -huh. We also plan on getting some sort of organizational shelving and bins, but we forgot to measure before we came here, so we can't actually buy any of these things but yet. Coming soon. Coming soon. All right, you guys, before we start working on the foyer, we actually have a life pro tip for working in your attic. Yeah. Work in your attic at night, because it's so much cooler here. Look, I'm able to stand here and not sweat that much. So I think the very first thing we're gonna do is snip off all this excess, like metal flashing metal flashing and the reason and why there's metal flashing there at all is because we all this like dusty fluffy stuff you see oh i shouldn't like yeah 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 you're just putting that in the air it's it's all blown insulation that we did a few years ago and because we didn't know if they were rated for contact we built these little flashing boxes around all of them yes you can see our beautiful oh no see our beautiful work but since we're going to be blocking this from getting insulation on it we can just cut her off yep Tin snips are the best. They cut through almost anything. They cut through the rest. It rhymes. They cut through the rest. I'm glad I wore gloves. <laughs> yeah. This would be brutal otherwise. That corner is going to be interesting. Oh, oh, I see what you're doing. That's fancy. Yeah. I'm a tin smith. I think there's an actual name that like people who work with metal are isn't called. It, isn't it a tin smith? Yes.
It's almost done. You know, it's not my finest work. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> yes. We're gonna build up a little bit of a landing right here. So to do that, we're gonna use these two by sixes. So we just need to measure where this pipe is so that we can put it over the pipe. Yeah, we're gonna cut out a little like a little you notch, yeah. over it. Yes. Okay, which one you want to start with? That one. Clamp these into place. It's already so solid. <laughs> you, look, you look like a crazy person. Okay, so good news and bad news. Good news. This is solid. Yeah. Bad news. The piece of plywood we got is too small. Oh. 32 and a half, 25. Oh! Uh. Oh! No, 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 Yeah, this, this'll work. Yeah, because this is 24 inches right there. Oh, yeah, it'll work, barely. We're gonna get like a whole like three quarter inch on both sides. Oh, that's fine. Woo! Okay. okay. Huh. We're good. Crisis We're apartment. good. Let's go cut it. All righty, you look like a ninja. I'm Scorpion. Get over here! Ah! Yeah! Yay! There's a sticker. That's not pretty. Hey, before before we screw it down... Should I stand on it? I'll stand on it. I'll, I'll put it to the true heavy person test. Oh! Oh, yeah! It's good? That's awesome! The uh, foyer is done. Look at how great that is. I can just walk up. It's stylish. Stand here. It's functional. We don't have to step over a giant light. And you're like extra tall when you're up there. <laughs> there's, there's also like a peace of mind that comes from knowing what, like what went into what you just built. Like yeah. I know that all these joints are secure. I know that everything is capable of like holding the weight that I'm putting on it. Yeah. And it's like with this right there, look at that. There's like three boards stacked on top of each other. And I don't know how thick any of them are. I don't know what's <laughs> underneath them. I don't know what joints are underneath them. There's yeah. just like, I can't, you, you can't. I... Yeah, so I think this is a great start to our attic renovation. The foyer looks beautiful. And now we're gonna move to the next part actually. Before we do the living room, we, we came up with another little thing we wanna do here. We're gonna build a little box over this because it'd be great if while we're walking up, we can set all of the heavy stuff that we're moving up here on this ledge and then transfer it to the living room. Yes. So the design of the landing is gonna be pretty simple. <laughs> That's a cross section? Yes. So. What, did I already say it's gonna be simple? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, this is gonna be really complex. You, we're gonna be attaching three boards together, three pieces of plywood, like that. And for extra reinforcement. <gasps> a piece of wood underneath. <laughs> is that a two by four? That's it. Okay, cool. <laughs> what do you think of the plan? Do you approve? 24 inches, 12 inches. Should I be filming this? <laughs> so, we're gonna assemble it upside down? Yes. You seem unsure. I was wondering what you are doing with the camera. That was a fancy flip right there. That's some fancy editing. And this should ah! fit perfectly. Like this. It's like we planned it. <laughs> I don't know what that laugh was. Cut that out. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Will this fit up the attic door? Like through the opening? Yes. Okay. Carefully. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 this will totally fit. <laughs> are, you, are you trying to help? I'm just ready when you need me. 
I'll be there for you. You'll be there for me. <laughs> I'll put it on the landing. The foyer, even. The foyer. This is this is this is the landing. Oh yeah. This is yeah, the foyer. Get hey, it but straight. This, this serves as perfect. But this serves as perfect perfectly. <laughs> it's perfect purpose. All right. Let's see how well this fits in its place. Oh yes. It's the perfect size to put bins as we come up. We place them. Is there something under there? Insulation. Oh yeah. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Why are we having such a hard time with words? Words are hard. So now we just need to attach it. We need some brackets. Yep. That's that. Bingo, bango. That's your Jane bow. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, it's done. The landing looks great. Shall we test it? Oh. It works great. It looks great. I think it's much better than our old solution, which was just, there was nothing. There was just a vent there that we couldn't put stuff on. Now comes the big part. Time yes. for the living room. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm not excited about this part at all, really. So this is definitely gonna be the biggest part of the project. It needs the most work. It's also covered in insulation, so we can't really see what currently exists under here. Should we do a time lapse of cleaning it up and then install the first row of two by fours? You know, I think in real time, we should record the entire cleaning up process. No music, no editing. ASMR. <laughs> insulation cleanup ASMR. Listen to that. It's made of all recyclable materials. Is this how you ASMR? All right, so what we uncovered were floors back here, but I'm not happy with them as they are. Because <laughs> um, they're too thin. They're yeah. way too thin. Oh my gosh. I almost <laughs> I was like, what if, what if I had them just like, drop right into our office. Oh, no, no, so no, no, these no, no. definitely have to go. And even if like... <laughs> even if they did work, there's an issue here because we can either have clear floors or an insulated attic. And we, <laughs> we want have both. We want the insulated attic because this is our office down there. So like we said, we're gonna build up a floor so we can put some insulation underneath it. But what's gonna make that a lot easier are these. Ooh. Did you get it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So to show you how it would work in easy mode, you just buy these, drop them in place in most houses. Most two by fours are at space 24 inches apart. Ah! Oh, shit. Are you okay? What if, what if I had to just like drop right into our office? Right into our office. So. Last night happened. Well, we're working in the attic and this just happened. God dang it. Yeah, that wasn't the way we planned for this video to go. No, I no. don't I don't plan on you falling through the ceiling. No, I don't want no. that to ever happen again. No, I'm okay. Just a little bit of bruises, Yeah. A bruised, I'm not even gonna say bruised ego. That's not like a weird thing to say. I, my ego is bruised. My leg is bruised. Your leg is bruised. <laughs> my leg is bruised. You know, I mean, we always try to like gather lessons learned when things go wrong. I, I guess the main lesson that I learned is don't get comfortable in attics. No. Like don't like hop around. Hop around. Always have one foot on sure footing, and then test the next step before you transfer it. 24 inches apart. <laughs> 24 inches apart. <laughs> I think that yeah. I just got too comfortable up there. I moved a little bit too fast because we have spent so much time up there. We just <laughs> can't get comfortable and it could have gone a lot worse. Yeah. I mean, it's, I'm lucky that it's not as bad as it was. I mean, yeah. When, I have to say though, when I was sitting up there after I pulled myself back up and I was looking down at like, the complete wreck of our office. I just had a moment. 
like that you could have been in that wreck down there. You know what? I actually wasn't thinking about that. I'm like, God dang it, that's so much to clean up. <laughs> it's like another thing to deal with. We just didn't have the time. I mean, even fixing the drywall, like it was so ironic because we Googled drywall repair. We scrolled down and we saw our own video on how to fix drywall. And I'm like, thanks, pass us. I know how to do yeah. this. I just don't have the time. Good job, Evan and Caitlin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, there, there were like, looking back at it, there were multiple levels of irony to this whole situation. Wouldn't it be ironic if I fell through the floor? Then I walk over and I fall through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's 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 pretty. It's pretty like uh, there, there's some irony there, you know. There is. There, yeah. there is. We can laugh about it now. It was yeah. really scary in the moment. Yeah. But but I mean, like, look, we're, we we were making. We fell. Let me go back to making. <laughs> we fell. So we're just gonna yeah. get back at it. We're not gonna let this. We can't let the attic win. No. So. Let's go finish this project. Let's try this again. A little bit more safe, a little bit more secure. Look, there's no hole. It's like it didn't happen. Yeah, it's like it didn't happen. Anyways, what I was saying is we have these things which make it a lot easier. Usually you have 24 inch spacing between these rafters. They just kind of drop in right here. They intermesh, you screw them down and it's all nice and secure. I mean, these are rated for human weights and stuff like that. Yes. Now I'm not gonna fully stand on them. No, we're going to move carefully. <laughs> not until they're all fully screwed down. But yeah. again, like we said earlier, we don't want to screw these down into the existing boards because we're gonna lose the insulation. So right now we're gonna go up, we're gonna tear up these floors right here. We're gonna lay new two by fours down. Build up the floor. And then install these. So let's do that in like kind of a time-lapse mode. Yeah. Kind of get this moving along yeah, again. Let's get this ball rolling. <laughs> Notes to anyone wanting to do this. Don't, Don't use plywood, use... you can bend. Oh no no. Oh no no. No no no! We see your ceiling joist, and we raise you another joist. Is that funny? It's okay. <laughs> ah, don't tell that one. So Evan forgot how to drill. It's okay, he fell through a ceiling. We can forgive him. We have raised floors. Now all this extra height, we can fill back up with the 100 bags of insulation and then put our new floor tiles on top. Here, right. over here. here you go, delivery. Prepare yourself. Oh, hold, hold, wait, put your mask on. I was gonna do that. You ready? <laughs> was that supposed to be dramatic? I, I don't really know what I was going for. <laughs> Get up! <laughs> Ready, first tile is going in. It's a good feeling. We're so close. I know. This is so good. This is like the fastest part. And I don't feel worried about falling for the first time. Ever since <laughs> the incident. I am so sweaty. Yeah, I don't know why we always choose summer for attic projects. I think the summer chooses us. <laughs> we have been chosen. It is our calling. It desires more sweat. <laughs> oh, Woo! finished with two s screws left. You guys, oh. you finished it. Oh. <sighs> it's so comfortable, right? It's such a flattering angle. <laughs> Do you want to sleep up here? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, storage shelves. Yeah. Assemble! Yay, on to the reason we did all of this. Storage! But you know what? By this point, I'm sure that you guys are a little bit tired with us assembling things, so let's do this real quick. Ready? Yeah. Ah, oh, that was the easiest part of the project. I guess we should fill it with stuff. Woo! Woo! Yay! Look at all the stuff we can fit! And we even have room for more stuff, which is yeah. awesome. Do you guys want a tour? Yes. Let's give you a tour. Wow, you know, this has just come such a long way. So as a reminder, we, we redid the foyer of our house, uh, our, our attic, and now we have a nice welcoming area. And look, no more boxes as soon as you come in. 
we have this wonderful landing that we can place things in as we come up into the attic. And then look at this welcoming living room. I know, I just wanna like spend all my time up here, he said sarcastically. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I mean, there's, there's so much more room than what we need right now, which is gonna be really great because in a little bit, we're gonna be redoing our guest room. We're gonna yeah. be redoing our garage and we're gonna need this space to hold all those items as we clean out those rooms and uh, make room for more projects too. Yeah, also that. Well guys, thanks for hanging out with us on this sweaty adventure. It was maybe a little bit more adventurous than we expected, but this is really awesome. I, I like it even more than I expected, honestly. This is like such a huge improvement from what the attic used to be. Yeah, and now that everything is done, we know it's done right, and yeah. I feel secure up here. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well guys, thanks for joining us in today's episode. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next one where everything is gonna go smoothly. And maybe we'll even see you on our gaming channel. Oh yeah, yeah. Head over to- Gaming. YouTube.com slash Evan and Caitlin Gaming. Bye. Bye. We're so good at like shout outs. I know, <laughs> I know. We're tired. Let's take a nap. Right here. In the living room? Yeah. No, let's move out to the bedroom. Oh no, it's dark back there. <laughs>